Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm going to be reacting to celebrities who ended their careers in seconds. <clears throat> um, I think I know some of these, but I probably don't know all of them. Or like, I'll be reminded of them because I know like some scandals in the past. But now a few years have passed and I don't even remember like where are these people and what are they doing like did it really ruin their career or is it just um cancel culture that failed but um anyway let's get into this video and please subscribe let me know what else i should react to in the comments below celebrities just like the rest of us what are no strangers do? to making mistakes but every now and then those mistakes push um, the boundaries oh, causing their startup to one. vanish in the blink of an eye at Rolling Loud, DaBaby made some insensitive remarks about people with STDs for no real reason mm, in the middle yeah, of his performance. I think his and this caused for event organizers declining. to drop him. And he lost so many fans to the point that his concert tickets had buy one, get one free promotions. <laughs> and in an interview with Big Boy TV, DaBaby revealed he lost an estimated $30 million from his comments. Rolling Loud, what, July? I think he's I really declining right now. I haven't heard from him. Before, uh, December 31st, I was gonna buy my private plane. All that. I had all that. I had it mapped. I'm gonna get me a jet here, young. This, so yeah, you know. Haven't heard from him in a while. Go, I go. <clears throat> Johnny Depp's career came to a halt soon after his ex-partner Amber Heard filed for divorce and alleged that he was abusive in the relationship. This not only caused Depp's public image to be tarnished, but in last year's trial, a forensic accountant was brought to testify and estimated that he suffered lost earnings of at least forty million dollars from the accusations. Because he was like fired uh, from Pirates of the Caribbean. Earnings. Of approximately 40 million dollars. Well, there are really Caribbean. two main components to that. The first relates to the loss of the role of Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirate Six film. Uh, did he get hired back after this trial? Provided by Mr. Jack Wiggum. Luckily for Johnny, he was able to gain his reputation back by suing Amber for defamation in a lengthy trial that took place in 2022, in which the jury Dang. also awarded him 15 million dollars in damages. That was As against like Amber Heard, we the jury the trial of award the summer compensatory last year. damages in the amount of $10 million. As against Amber Heard, we the jury award punitive damages in the amount of $5 million. But I don't know why okay, she's trying to act Okay, maybe the consequences were not as bad as others, but Vin Diesel made a reporter courtroom. very uncomfortable during a movie press junket in Brazil. I love her. Man, she's so f***ing sexy. It's not, I can't do this interview. Look at her. Does anyone say this? Guys, um, what's wrong? Am I the only one that's saying it? Look I don't her. really remember She's so this, but beautiful. it's like you can't even do it. Is he drunk or something? You're just like, da, 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 okay, sit down. Da, da, da. The reporter Carol it's Moreira creepy. said during a local interview that she did feel uncomfortable, and Vin Diesel received a lot of backlash from it. So he took it to Facebook to apologize for his behavior and said he never intended to offend anyone. After 10 years of Fergie being out of the mainstream spotlight with her song releases going unnoticed, the NBA still decided to invite her to sing the national anthem at an all-star game. And well, her performance was strange to say the least. Who heard her sound check and told her to continue with this? I want to skip this. It's cringy for me. crafted in his 30 year plus career an image of being approachable harmless and an always-on movie star but that all quickly changed at the 2022 oscars when he got up and slapped chris rock for making when i saw this live i oscars. thought it was like a bit i'm going to okay um that's so dumb because he was laughing at the joke in the beginning but a little known fact about the incident is that the LAPD was ready to arrest Will Smith as soon as the Oscars ended. But they didn't because Chris Rock said he didn't want to press charges. Chris Rock had the ability But did this ruin his career or is he just taking LAPD a break? It's too soon to tell, right? Because this just happened last year. Will Smith <clears throat> from that theater that night. That's an absolute fact. The LAPD made it clear we will do whatever you want us to do. And one of the options is that we will go and arrest him right now. Kelly Osborne was expecting applause after making remarks <laughs> about Hispanics in the US, but instead was met with complete hmm. silence. And if yeah. you if you kick every Latino out of this country, then who is going to be cleaning your toilets, Donald Trump? Oh, that's Dang. in the sense that no. you know what I mean? Like when I'm saying there's that more, there's more jobs we, in um, LA, they always the we see how she really they feels. Joe Irvine put on an incredible performance at X Factor New Zealand. 
but it was clear that Natalia Kills and her husband Willie Moon were not happy about the performance. Apparently, they thought that Joe was trying to be like Willie Moon and made some comments that were completely over the line, which resulted in both of them being fired right after the show. I'm right after the show? How much you have copied my husband from the hair to the suit. Do you not have any value or respect for originality? I'm embarrassed to be sitting here in your presence. Well, okay, I guess this one might have been kind you're so of embarrassed fun. he got fired. It ended up with Steven Seagal being sort of blacklisted by many networks. It is well known that Steven Seagal made one of the worst SNL appearances of all time. What most people don't know is that in a lot of the skits, he was not being cooperative and trying to actually enact the fight scenes, according to fellow actor Bob Odenkirk. He goes, if I um, where is he now? I, have I haven't heard from him. Beating, <laughs> it's live, and he's beating them up and throwing them around the room and it goes on for like eight minutes it's the longest scene you've ever seen during the 2004 That's super bowl weird. halftime show janet jackson had a wardrobe malfunction when performing with justin timberlake he was supposed to rip part of the outfit off of her but accidentally ripped the whole thing this caused complete outrage at the time the fcc received more than half a million complaints cbs was fined five hundred so thousand because, dollars and the um, nfl was asked to refund the ten million dollars overweight the guys with sponsors, boobs show their nipples all the time so most i don't understand black was janet jackson it's basically the same who was thing. uninvited to the grammys and her music videos were blacklisted and her career just never recovered from it she questions why she was blacklisted at least temporarily and while nothing happened to justin timberlake apologized for his role went on to have a flourishing career. Not exactly career ending, but it did affect viewership of the popular carpool karaoke show with James Corden. When it was revealed that James Corden wasn't actually driving the car in a video that went viral. And for a lot of viewers, it kind of ruined the spark. Um, I guess it's better to do that because the public's perception of actress Meghan Markle he can focus kind of went on soon after her entry into the British uh, royal the family. Artist the reason why is because she started breaking some royal to protocols drive and apparently didn't get along with the animals. And crash. And in an unexpected turn of events, Meghan and Prince Harry withdrew from the royal family to supposedly live a private life. People were initially supportive of their decision, especially after Markle revealed some racism she had to endure. But the public kind of turned on them when they kept talking to the media to stay in the spotlight, released a podcast, a biography, and even a Netflix show which seemed to be the opposite of what they claimed to be wanting a private life. So people started to criticize them. Like, well, what's this girl, uh, Meghan Markle, just complaining. I was like, didn't she hit the light skin lottery? Acting all dumb like she don't know nothing. I had no idea how racist they were. It's the royal family. They're the original racists. Some of that she went through was not racism. Okay, in my opinion, this might have been a little exaggerated by the public, considering the D'Amelio sisters went from being unknown to some of the biggest celebrities in a year, and no one is really prepared to handle that I much fame at from such a young age. But when they posted a video on YouTube, are they still people were upset because they came off spoiled when they didn't like the heard their chef from made. Them and Charlie made some <clears throat> comments about wanting to reach 100 million followers. I wish it, I wish I had like more time, because imagine if I hit 100 mil a year after hitting a mil. Was the 95 not enough for you? <laughs> this video caused Charlie to lose 1 million followers just a few hours after it went public, and she even made an apology. Sorry, seeing how people reacted to Oh, this, wow, she lost a million followers, and she still has 9 99 like, million, million followers. Amy career seemed to be on the up and up, with her First landing so problems. many deals with networks for specials. That is until she got exposed for stealing jokes and people were upset. But perhaps the wildest example I don't of this think is when she stole a joke all. from Ellen DeGeneres and told that same stolen joke on the Ellen show. The only thing that was funny that she's ever said was at the Oscars after Will Smith slapped someone. She's like, uh, she was one of the hosts. And then she, it was her time to speak. And she was like, oh, um, I was backstage. Did something happen? Or something? That's the only funny thing that she has said. Um, everything else is like. No. Go to her face. That delicious, we must shovel handfuls of it into our mouth. <laughs> you just like, you get real real and it's just <laughs> Like I've split my lip trying to get one more kernel. It's true. Wait, she's telling Megan Fox played her Michaela joke Baines in Transformers, which shot her to stardom with the movie making $700 million. <coughs> Despite this, Megan Fox only made $100,000 for the first movie and $800,000 for the sequel. But just when she was set to make $2.2 million to star in the third Transformers movie, she badmouthed director Michael Bay by oh. comparing him to the German leader. Well, um, now she's in Mortal Kombat 1. This caused Michael Bay to kick her out of the movie and tell Hollywood Natara. she was difficult to work with. And he also released a very strange interview explaining what happened. I had not seen Megan uh, for about eight months or so since Transformers 2. 
And when I saw her, she just didn't look like Michaela. With so social media not being what it is, is her career really Megan over, Fox or did she just really have an outlet take a break to take care of her kids? Allegations, and ended up doing so years later in an interview with ABC. It's it's not true. My crew knows it's not true, and my producers know it's not true. And um, you know, it's unfortunate that it would change public opinion. That of course hurts my feelings. I don't ever want people to think I'm difficult to work with, or that I'm a bitch because I try to go out of my way to make people feel comfortable. Lance Armstrong was a highly successful cyclist, having won the Tour de France seven consecutive times from 1999 to 2005. However, in 2012, Wait, he was, he was stripped of all something? his Tour de France or, titles um... and banned from professional cycling for life after testing positive for using performance-enhancing drugs. Uh, yeah. When all this came to life, <laughs> Armstrong did an interview with Oprah admitting to lying his entire career. Did you ever take banned substances to enhance your cycling performance? Yes. Did you ever blood dope or use blood transfusions to enhance your cycling performance? Yes. It did not even feel wrong. No. It's scary. Even though nowadays it is completely normal for singers to lip sync during their performances, Fifth and harmony. people know about it, not long ago lip syncing was very frowned upon. Ashley Simpson was a reality star throughout the early 2000s, along with her famous no, singer. No, her sister was a singer, and then they just tried to force singing upon her, to and that's why her career ended started, because segue to a musical career for Ashley. I just feel so like she, she just wanted to do what her older sister was doing, and one of them it didn't work out. Top five hit on <clears> Billboard 100. But in 2004, she appeared on SNL to promote her album. I don't think this vocals, was the thing she was that ruined her career. I think it's just, she's not a real musician. Does she still make music now? It didn't help that she later blamed her band for playing the wrong song, which just added fuel to the fire. I feel so bad my band started playing the wrong song, and I know what to do, so I thought I'd do a hoedown. <laughs> this caused her music to not be taken very seriously. And people didn't like the fact that she no. was lip syncing. Since just her a few music weeks wasn't taken seriously to be totally from the beginning. <laughs> and offended by it. Family this was Guy not the even made a segment on an episode mocking the incident. Not sure if she's considered a celebrity, but this mom influencer with a big following posted an Instagram video telling her audience how a Hispanic couple had been eyeing her kids and following her around the stores to attempt to kidnap her child. She even said in the story, "If you have to lead with, I don't know if she's a celebrity. She's not a celebrity. And even though she did file, ain't nobody know who she is. Day, when the police who watched is she? I don't even know who she video, is. They realized that she left out important details in the police report. The main detail is that he reached for the stroller." making it an actual attempted kidnapping in the eyes of the law, instead of just a weirdo following them around the store. With this new information, they used their resources and were able to find the Latino couple and publicly accuse them. Then the police finally got a hold of the security footage just to find that the mom had lied. No one followed her around the store, nor grabbed the stroller, and she was sentenced to 90 days in jail for making the whole thing up. Liar. Oh, that's the end? <clears throat> yeah, some people are weird. They just want attention so bad, and it's like, get a life like <laughs> if you have nothing better to do just go to sleep like when you're sleeping you can't bother anyone so um that is that and that is the end of this video thanks for watching please subscribe let me know what else i should react to in the comments below and if you want to see my experiences in korea you could check out my first channel sex tv and if you want to see my other socials it's right here under my face thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye